The saying majority rules exist for a reason, and I am going to give you, uh, um, the reason why, if the election comes down to Hillary and Trump, why we will possibly have a Trump presidency. And let me explain. And, and let me just put a disclaimer. I do not support Donald Trump. I do not agree with Donald Trump. I believe Donald Trump is an asshole. And, and I believe that he should die in a fucking truck fire. That's what I view of Donald Trump. But, but, but my point is though, I do not support Donald Trump whatsoever. So don't accuse me of supporting Donald Trump because I don't. Okay? Disclaimer. Keep that in fucking mind. I'm just giving you the facts here. Okay. If the election comes down to Hillary versus Trump, which there's a good possibility that it will, that it, it will be, but there's also a possibility that Bernie Sanders could sweep New York, Pennsylvania, California, so on and so forth. There's a good possibility of Bernie sweeping up the rest of the delegates and the superdelegates would swing in his direction then. That's how the superdelegates work at the Democratic Party. Okay, but there is that possibility of Bernie Sanders also getting the nomination, but he really has to uh, uh, go after Hillary Clinton much harder than he's been doing. He has to, he and his supporters, I'm one of his supporters, we have to do serious phone banking now. And... We have to do whatever we can to help Bernie win these states, okay? Bernie supporters have, we have to work our asses off. Hillary Clinton supporters are working much harder to get Hillary Clinton to win the nomination. This is just what's going on. But here's the point, though. If it comes down to Hillary versus Trump, the possibility of having a Trump presidency is more higher than having a, another Clinton presidency, and let me explain. Trump has a wide appeal. If you are a, if you are a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent against Trump, you, you see the writing on the fucking wall already. Trump has a wide appeal towards conservative Republicans, conservative Independents, and conservative Democrats. He has the, a wide appeal to conservative racist white people who are from the Republican, Independent, and Liberal Party. So, let me explain to you how his wide appeal would help him win the general election and make Hillary Clinton lose. Hillary Clinton has a majority of the minority support. Now, there is a very little case in election history of the United States where minority ruled over the majority. But that, but that's very uh, rare that that happens. So knowing that that's a rare possibility of the minority ruling over the majority, you still have to take into consideration with the election of 2016 that the majority is most likely going to rule over the minority. Now, you can have white males, white females, doesn't matter what skin color the voters are. You can have voters voting for Hillary who supported Bernie if he, let's just say he didn't get the nomination. And let's just say Bernie um, told his supporters, please support Hillary Clinton. Okay, now you can have a lot of Bernie supporters going to Hillary Clinton's side and, you know, doing door pounding and all that and getting people to vote for Hillary. And what would be the more likely outcome for Hillary's um, votes in the general election? She would have the majority of the women uh, vote. She would have the majority of the black vote. She would have the majority of the Latino vote. And she would have the... She would basically have a lot of the minority votes and the woman vote. What now, let's just say if there are people who don't want Hillary because she's a woman, where are they going to swing towards? Donald Trump's direction. Now, who who's Donald Trump going to have? A lot of the white male vote. 
a lot of the white male vote. Here's the problem with that. As of now, up to a certain up to a certain time, white people are still the majority of the people in this country. That's just the facts. And here's the problem with Trump getting the white male vote from the conservative independents, Republicans, and Democrats. In Pennsylvania, I'm going to say this again, a lot of the conservative Democrats went Republican. And a lot of the conservative independents went Republican. This is in Pennsylvania alone. So he'll win the Pennsylvania primary. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I see the writing on the wall. And so, with that being said, you could have a lot of conservative Democrats, a lot of conservative Republicans, and a lot of conservative independents voting for Trump in the general election if it comes down to Hillary versus Trump. Not only would he have more votes than Hillary Clinton, he would, besides that, he would have an appeal to these male voters by giving an exacerbated truth. Let's let's face it, Donald Trump does tell the truth, but an exacerbated truth. Not an exaggerated truth, an exacerbated truth. And what's an exacerbated truth, you're thinking? Uh, um, it's basically a skewered, turned upside down truth. Like, Here's the truth. Donald Trump will basically use this against Hillary Clinton in a debate. He'll say Hillary Clinton has a super PAC, which is true. But here's something Donald Trump will exacerbate in order to, to, in order to get people on his side. This is what he'll exacerbate. He'll say... And I can tell you exactly what he's going to say because I could s see it already. He'll say, well, Hillary Clinton has a super PAC from Saudi Arabia. You know where female gender mutilation happens? She has a super PAC from them. He'll say that. And guess what? People are, will believe him. Because we know how Hillary Clinton defends herself when she's called out. We all know how well she handle, handles herself. She'll try to give a long explanation why she doesn't have that, but she'll try to struggle giving an answer, okay? He'll, he, he'll do shit like that. He'll give exacerbated truths like that, and people will believe him. So therefore, more people turn out in the general election for Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton. So therefore, we would more likely have a Trump presidency than a Clinton presidency again. Now, if the election just happens to be Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump, Donald Trump has nothing on Bernie. Donald Trump has everything on Hillary, but not on Bernie. And I'll explain to you why he doesn't have anything on Bernie. Number one, Bernie Sanders is not only the most genuine candidate up on the whole political stage against Ted Cruz, John Kasich, Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton, he's not only the most genuine candidate of all time, but he's the most honest. Now, Donald Trump could say, Bernie used a super PAC this election, which wouldn't be true. And Bernie Sanders would say, Donald, that is not true. I did not have a super PAC. I had a grassroots campaign Right from the get-go, we raised more money, historically speaking, this election than any politician has had on the Republican and Democratic side throughout most elections so far in the 21st century. He'll say that, which will be true, 100% true. No one can doubt Bernie on that because that's true. He has a grassroots campaign. The majority of the people who donate to his campaign donate from their own pockets. 
Bernie does not have a super PAC, unlike Hillary Clinton. So, when you think about it, Hillary Clinton loses to Donald Trump in the general election. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But, if it comes down to Bernie versus Trump, Bernie fucking wins. Trump loses. Trump's campaign dies in a truck fire. Hillary Clinton's campaign dies in a truck fire against Donald Trump. It flips. And this is why Bernie Sanders is the strongest person running on the Democratic ticket to be the nominee. Not that I have anything personal against Hillary Clinton. Not that I have anything personal against her. She hasn't, like, publicly punched me in the face or anything. I don't have anything against her. I don't care that she's a woman running for president. I don't, gender doesn't come into play for me. Policy does. But considering the facts, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton both have, both have horrible policies that would affect this country badly. But Bernie Sanders has policies that would actually benefit this country. Because Bernie Sanders is calling out Donald Trump on his bluff several times throughout the day. Hillary Clinton does call Donald Trump out on his bluff every now and then. But Hillary Clinton is a scripted politician. Bernie Sanders is not. Donald Trump is a scripted politician, even though he speaks like he isn't. Donald Trump's speeches are basically formed from Hitler's speeches. If you don't believe me, and there's a lot of them on YouTube, look up Hitler 1929 speech before he was elected Chancellor of Germany, and you'll know what I mean. See